Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be going over what is Notebook LM. So Notebook LM is from Google, and the way I kind of interpret it is that it's a way to learn information a lot faster. So the way I use it is that you have these things called notebooks, and so I categorize my notebooks based on like the type of information that I'm learning from, or the person that I'm learning from itself. So here you can see names of YouTubers who I am following. Over here I have like an offer up resources or offer up resource. So I'm currently learning about offer up. So the topic is offer up, therefore all the resources should be related to offer up. But if we go ahead and click on Charlie Morgan over here, on the left hand side, this is where you're gonna be able to actually add resources. So if you click on this plus button, you can upload Google Documents, you can upload Google Slides, you can upload website links. I normally always upload YouTube links, like what you see over here. So it just pastes the YouTube URL link. Uh, one thing about Notebook LM is that I do wish that it had a way to bulk upload sources. Unfortunately, it doesn't, not the, at least not that I know of. Um, you can upload other file types like PDFs, text, markdown, audios, and you can even copy and paste text. In this example here, this is all my resources on an individual named Charlie Morgan, who's a YouTuber. So I basically just copied about 30 of his YouTube video links and inputted it here. The interesting or really cool thing about Notebook LM is that some of Charlie Morgan's YouTube videos are like one hour, five hours, and 10 hours long. By actually adding the videos into Notebook LM, Notebook LM actually transcribes it and starts to understand the information. So. One of my favorite features of Notebook LM is are these auto-generated questions here. So here, if I click on explain the equation presented by Charlie Morgan for achieving a monthly income of 10,000, if I go ahead and click that, it's going to ask the chat system or Notebook LM, and then it's going to come up with the reply. So let's give it a couple seconds to see what the reply is. And normally the suggested questions that it asks they're pretty well thought out. They're really relatable questions. They're not just really basic questions. I think Notebook LM does a much better job at ChatGPT at suggesting questions uh, to help you learn more about the subject at hand. So as you can see here, this is the reply that it gave. It really formats the answers in a very digestible way. So you can see that it uses a lot of bullets. It uses a lot of bolded words. You can see all the resources included as well. It's a really nice way to actually learn things at an expedited process. So from this point, you could actually copy the response. You can thumbs it up or thumbs it down to kind of teach the algorithm or AI software. And you can save it to a note. So if you click on save to a note, it's gonna save it to all the, you can see these are previous notes that I've saved from previous responses. To actually rename the note, you just click on it. You can say the equation for 10K per month and then exit out of that. With the chat system, I tend to use this when I'm just relaxing at home. I find this like an alternative to actually like reading books while I'm at home on break. I'll actually go ahead and just talk with this uh, AI software. I'll ask it questions and you don't have to use the suggested questions. Like you can ask it a question such as, what is Charlie's daily routine look like? So I really like to use it when it comes to learning about individuals, really getting an insight of what they do on a daily basis so I can replicate their success and such. So here as what you see, what does Charlie's daily routine look like? I can ask it a specific question and it'll give me a response. The formatting of these questions are really, really nice and it just makes it very digestible and easy to read when it comes to understanding the information and such. I really like that about a uh, notebook LM as far as the suggested questions and then the chat system goes. Do keep in mind that once you close the chat, the history is still gonna be there, but I don't know when, the, I feel like the chat resets like every night or when you actually exit out of the tab. So it's, it is important that you save notes that you do uh, find value in, just because if you exit out of this tab here, it's no longer, like this response is no longer, no longer gonna be there. There's no chat history actually. Now the last thing that I really like about Notebook LM is that if you click on this notebook guide, you can actually create FAQs, study guides, table of contents, briefing docs, or timelines. So if I go ahead and click on FAQ, let's see what it pops out. It's gonna appear it as a note. And so right now it is generating. And so while we let that generate, what we could actually do is that here, there's an audio overview. And this audio overview, oh sorry, the FAQ actually just popped up. So here are just a bunch of questions that you can actually go through and study yourself. One thing I have noticed about these saved notes is that I do wish the window was bigger, but it seems to be pretty small. I'm not sure how to fix that. So that's another thing to know about Notebook LM. But here, there is an audio overview. So I, I do tend to use this quite a bit when it comes to downloading 
podcast-like audios to actually listen to while I'm driving or on a plane or while I'm traveling or while I'm at the gym. So here's an audio overview. You can click on load. Right now, the podcast clip is now taking time to actually generate. You can see it's 14 minutes long and it sounds extremely realistic. It's actually really cool. And so what I normally do is I actually export this and then I just put it on my phone and then I just list it while I'm on my break. So here are more suggested questions. Here's a summary. I'd say the two main features that I tend to use a lot is this podcast feature. I don't really use the pre-built study guides like the FAQ, the study guide, the table of contents, or the briefing doc. I can imagine that the table of contents would be pretty useful for like you outlining a course, for example. Uh, the view chat, I use a lot, okay? The view chat is extremely helpful. I love how it provides resources in case I wanna watch a video where it derived this answer from. Notebook LM, it's an absolutely fantastic resource. If you're in school, if you love learning, if you love continuous learning, this is an absolute fantastic, fantastic way to actually expedite your learning. And this notebook guide, I've used chat GPT, to, GPT before to actually learn things, but the notebook guide is actually a lot better in my opinion when it comes to trying to learn things from chat GPT. So right now it is still under experimental phase. This is from Google. I do imagine that later down the road, they are going to add more updated um, features to this. It's really cool as far as, I mainly use it for YouTube, but you can use it for different Google links. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, do let me know down below.